<coughs> Make America great again. We're going to build a wall. Um, these are just a few things you can hear on any given day from the man, the man, that orange guy, Donald Trump. Now, Trump is very well known for his amazing business practices, but he's even better well known for his Twitter account. Now, it is true that there are quite a few scandals building up around Trump, but today I'm only here to talk to you about three things. First, I will talk to you about his family. Then, I'll talk about the history and its upbringing with Trump Industries. And finally, I will end with some of his presidential accomplishments. Now, let's step over the border a little bit and talk about his family. Trump was born in 1946 to his father, Fred Trump. According to biography.com, Fred was the inspiration and role model for Trump throughout all of his business adventures and some of his real estate purchases. Now, Fred was married to Mary McLeod, and Mary actually only died one year after Fred. Now, if that's not true, well, I have no clue what it is. Now, of course, Trump has had quite the fruitful love life and has had a total of three wives. Two in the past, one he's currently married to. His current wife's name is Melania Trump. Melania is an immigrant from Tong, Scotland, like, not Tong, Scotland, Slovenia. His mother was an immigrant from Tong, Scotland. Now, they have had the journey of raising five kids together. They have three sons and two daughters. Two of their sons, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump, are executive vice presidents at Trump Industries. Their daughter, Ivanka, is also the executive vice president for Trump Industries. He also has a younger daughter who's 22 and is currently going through college and can be seen at some of his political events. Her name is Tiffany. And his son, he's only 10, so he's not old enough to work, is Barry. Now, let's deport ourselves back a few steps and talk about the history of Trump. At the age of 13, Trump was sent to the New York Military Academy and this is where he learned much of his discipline and his general education. Upon graduating the New York Military Academy, he went to Fordham University for two years. And then after that, he went to the Morton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania. And this is where he learned much of his business smarts and all that stuff. After graduating the University of Pennsylvania, he went to work with his dad, Fred, for Trump Industries. This is where he began his journey into the real estate business. He made quite a few big purchases three of which were kind of more well-known. He purchased the Grand Hyatt Hotel, seen here, the Plaza Hotel, seen here, and Trump Towers. These can all be found in New York City. Now, let's sneak into a little meeting with his presidential pals here. Vladimir Putin, Kim Jong-un, and the Mexican president. Now, a few of his presidential accomplishments are things such as the amazingly high American GDP now. This stands for gross domestic product, which means it basically signifies how much we're making from imports and exports going to other countries. He also has the lowest unemployment rate in history for his presidential term, as seen here. This is great because it shows that our economy is growing and we're bringing jobs back to people. And finally, one of his other accomplishments that isn't really talked about a lot and we're still kind of fighting it is the annihilation of ISIS. Now, he did this by literally bombing the hell out of it. And that is just an amazing thing for us, and it did a lot for this country, because now we don't have to see people mercilessly killing children and women in places like Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria. Now that you know a little bit about Trump, let's recap. First, we stepped over the border and talked about his family. This includes his father, Fred, his mother, Mary, his wife, Melania, and his five children. Then we deported ourselves back a few steps and talked about the history of Trump, including where he went to school, and his upbringing. And finally, we ended with some of his presidential accomplishments, such as the high GDP, the low unemployment rate, and the annihilation of ISIS. So now that we know a little bit about Trump, let's just all hope that someday we can have another future leader that can be as good as him and make America great again. Thank you.